Daniel. Okay, I'm not nervous. Okay, all right. Um, <laughs> uh, ready? Yeah. Okay. It was on a day when my family and I went to my grandpa and grandpa's house. I mean, grandma and grandpa's house. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember exactly what holiday it was, but I, I remember the whole family was gathered there at the house. I remember overhearing my Uncle Phil talk about some dance show that he saw that year. It was 1997, and, uh, and I was five years old at the time. So uh, he started mimicking what, what he saw at the show, and he was like folding his arms and and like kicking his legs in a weird way <laughs> across them. And, and I, I was, for some reason, I was curious about what it was. So I asked him what he was doing. And he said it was from the Irish dance show, Lord of the Dance. So uh, uh, my dad asked him if he could borrow the tape, the VHS tape, so that we could uh, watch it. So he lent it to us. And uh, we came back home and after, when I saw the movie for the first time, I was completely like absorbed into it. I was captivated and it, I just automatically fell in love with it. So uh, I just like seeing the, the fast moves that Michael Flatley was doing with his feet. And it just looked like when he got on stage, he'd just stand there in the light. And then he'd just jump out with great energy and start like, you know, uh, <laughs> dancing like a gazelle or a galloping horse or some fast, <laughs> fast animal. So, you know, automatically I was like, you know, five years old, very impressionable. I was like, this is what I want to do. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so, uh, so my parents bought me a pair of uh, small little black tap shoes and uh, I, you know, tried to learn the moves by watching the, the tape over and over again. So, Eventually, like the same year or maybe a year later, there was a talent show at my elementary school. And I was thinking, oh, this would be a good opportunity to do the Lord of the Dance. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, I went to the tryouts and they were being held indoors in the multi-purpose room. And there was a green tile floor or stage that the kids were performing their acts on. So. Uh, when it was my turn to go up, you know, I was pretty nervous because there were a lot of people sitting in front of the stage, and uh, and um, yeah, I was I was a nervous kid. So uh, when when the song started playing, I uh, and it was my turn to go. I started running out on the stage, you know, <laughs> kind of like in the game, uh, flatly. So, but as I got halfway across the stage, I slipped on the slick green tile floor oh. and I fell on my back. Oh. And uh, ap after that, I was really embarrassed because I, I had messed up the routine and, you know, I thought there was no hope left in the world to, you know, to start over and do it again, uh, even though it was tryouts and I could have done that. Uh, I didn't, so I just gave up and, and went off the stage and, and uh, started crying because, you know, uh, I was very sensitive and then <laughs> and then I, I uh, didn't see the possibility of doing it again I just uh, gave up but then some time passed after that and uh, I was still dancing and uh, I still enjoyed what 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 I was doing so uh, a new talent show came up like a year or two later and uh, it was held outdoors on the cement stage in the grassy courtyard. So uh, I felt better th this time because I was a couple years older and more confident. So uh, I went to the tryouts and uh, had the wooden boards and then uh, I did the routine and I didn't mess up this time. So I, I was happy because you know, I didn't slip like last time. And then, uh, um, so then when the day of the talent show came around, there were you know, many more people compared to the last time. And uh, they were all gathered there sitting in the grassy courtyard. And you know, it, it was kind of nerve wracking, but um, I, I wasn't too nervous. It was uh, more, more confident, like I said. And, uh, and then, so when the music started playing and uh, I ran out on the stage, uh, I went through with the whole routine and didn't mess up or slip or anything. 
and then uh, after the song was over, uh, the audience started clapping, and you know it felt good because it was like the greatest feeling in the world. And uh, and then after that experience, I thought uh, that I, I was proud that I didn't give up, and that I, I decided to change my way of thinking about what I was doing, and that. Uh, I, I think we should all try, even if we fail once or fail several times, if we enjoy what we're doing, then we should stick with it. And, and the patience and hard work that we put in will pay off in the end and it, it'll make us happy.